Hi everyone, this is Gleb, and a friend of mine asked me recently an example similar to this one. Imagine you have a card, and inside you have a couple of input elements, each with its own value. And you want to find the input elements using scigat command, then you find the third input element by using scyic command. You want to clear its value and want to type value of 20. And he claims that this test in his application that wraps around third-party components is flaky. And here's my approach to such tests to take advantage of Cypress retryability better. Notice how you separate all the commands. You have an initial query command, then you have a list of elements, and you use e command. So it's another query command. Now, if you find all the input elements and you add psyic, well, that's it. You're limited to those input elements. If for some reason the page renders that part of application, detaches and attaches new elements, which can happen, right? You'll never find the elements to add it. So by separating psyget from psi equal, you don't really take advantage of retrability later. Another thing that is dangerous is this command clear. So it's an action command. And a lot of third-party components that are complex, they might have logic. When you clear it, it might set something in state, it might do something else, which either renders the element, detaching it from DOM, or creates a pause before you can actually type something. And this pause is not noticeable by human users, right? But Cypress will probably trip over if you pause for 15 milliseconds while try Cypress is trying to type. So our problem is that we have a lot of commands and no assertions here, really. We just keep uh, interacting with application without you know, pausing and stopping and saying, did you process my last command? Or do I need to wait a little bit? So here's how I would write this task to make it less flaky. First, I will not separate scigat and scyic commands. I know it's a little bit uh, complex, but I would use a selector like n2, right, instead of separate ic command. Let's see if it works the same way. It does work the same way. So n takes all the found elements, and out of that list takes only the element with index 2, the index starts at 0, like arrays, 0, 1, 2. So this is third element. Now, we still have a lot of commands one after another without any assertions. So what I would do is I would separate them. I would say, okay, this is my element selector. Okay, so you get my selector. Then you clear it. But before you type, you get the element again. And you check that its value is an empty string. Okay, perfect. Now that you confirm that it was cleared successfully, you type. And after you type, what do you do? You check that the element has a value of 20. So you start alternating commands, assertion, commands, assertion. Even if uh, those assertions are never failing, by adding extra query command and extra assertion, you slow down Cypress a little bit. You know, 10 milliseconds here, 20 milliseconds there to query the down, to take a turn, right? Which probably will allow your application logic to finish whatever it is doing. So this test will be a lot less flaky because we use a single selector, because we require the page. So even if element has been re-rendered, for example, after clearing it, we still find it because we find the new copy of the element. And then we alternate commands and assertions to make sure that the test doesn't run too fast ahead of application still trying to do something. 